Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, I wanted to touch base on the comet that's approaching planet Earth. In fact, it's getting very close even right now as I do this video. C2020M3 Atlas. Right now, it's swinging around the right-hand side of the Earth between Earth and Mars. I'm going to show you where to look to potentially see Comet Atlas, a, a large, bright green comet in the southern sky. We're going to take a closer look at that here in a minute. Also, we're going to go over to Malta in the Mediterranean Sea, where I've received a, a video from Lawrence D. Of, of what looks like possibly a fiery object falling through the sky, big glowing orange trail that you're going to see in a video that that Lawrence shared with me here in just a moment also what appears to be some sort of a large possible drone in the daytime sky of Albany Indiana gonna come back and take a look at that here in just a moment as well but first over here at spaceweather.com article goes on to say photogenic comet approaches Earth Comet Atlas C 2020 M3 is approaching Earth at closest approach on November 4th 14th, it will be 0.3 AU, that's around 54 million kilometers, around 26, 27 million miles away. Not quite close enough to make it a naked eye comet, but pretty close. I mean, if you have a decent, a real decent pair of binoculars on a very clear night, and you know where to look, you'll probably be able to see it with a good pair of binoculars. If not, a telescope will definitely get the job done. But can you say photo op? This glowing like an eighth magnitude star, this remarkably beautiful comet is an easy target for backyard telescopes. Austrian amateur astronomer took this photo of Comet Atlas passing through the Orion Nebula on November the 8th. And right there it is, and it is a very intense green color. The comet's green atmosphere is huge, according to this article. Now I want to show you guys where to look if the sky is clear. You're going to have to get up early. Then again, you might be able to, to sneak a peek of it around maybe 4.35 a.m., but optimal viewing time is 3 o'clock in the morning, looking directly south at Orion. And you're going to be looking at Orion's belt. Right in this area here is where Comet Atlas is going to be actually tonight, November the 10th, at the 3 o'clock position of Orion's Belt on the right-hand side. If Orion's Belt were a clock, the comet would be at the 3 o'clock position right there. On November the 10th, we're going to hop ahead to, say, November the 12th. It's going to change position some. It's going to move a little bit. It's going to be a little higher north of Orion's Belt, maybe at around the 1 o'clock position with regard to the belt that's where comet atlas is going to be on the 12th hop ahead to the 14th it's going to be a little higher up in the upper part of orion right there that's on the 14th and then we move ahead to the 16th it's going to be above the arm of orion right there near the top so going to be visible with the right equipment either a really good set of binoculars and again has to be a clear night or a telescope will definitely get the job done. I'm going to be out trying to, to get a look at this comet. I uh, don't think I'm going to be able to tonight because it's going to be cloudy, but the first night that it's clear between now and the 16th, I will be out trying to get at least a photo or two of Comet Atlas as it makes its close approach. Right here it is over at the JPL, swinging around the right-hand side of planet Earth. And again, step outside, look south towards actually Mars at 3 o'clock in the morning, and Comet Atlas will be up in Orion. Now we're going to head over to the Mediterranean Sea near Malta. That's where the video was taken from by Lawrence. And, and here's the video. I'm going to let you guys decide. I did one the other day that looked like a, a fiery object, and I'm still pretty sure that it was. Actually, like three objects coming into the atmosphere. This one here, I'm not 100% sure. Could be a plane. Could be the angle. Uh, giving this uh, very dramatic appearance in the sky. Looks like a fireball dated October 31st of 2020, but I'm going to let you guys decide. And here it is in the original format. This is exactly the way I received it. But I want you to pay attention to the, the front of this thing. You don't see anything shiny at all, whether it be a plane, some type of space debris, or even a fireball. Watch, I'll take you in really close. 
And you would think with that type of a, a dramatic tail, there would be something glowing very bright at the front. And there's not. We're going to go in close. This is, like I said, the original format. I haven't done anything to this. But where's the plane? Or, or where's the, the meteor or space debris? Don't see a thing. And it looks like three trails that end up combining into one. But the front looks like three. Again, this is the original format. I enhance it here towards the end of this little video clip right here. And you're going to see dark is light and light is dark. And you can see three independent trails in the sky, but no obvious source. Like I said, no plane, no fiery meteor, um, not a thing. So I don't know, maybe it's just the angle uh, that made it you know, next to impossible to show up in the video. I don't know, I've never seen one quite like that where you couldn't see a obvious source of what we're seeing in the sky. But, but nevertheless, that was a, a great video capture in there. You can clearly see three distinct, what look like streamers in the sky falling towards the ground. It does look like they're coming down at a pretty steep angle, which would imply that more than likely that's not an airplane, but what is it? I'll leave that up to you guys to decide, much like I will this video here sent in from Albany, Indiana. This is some sort of a bright white object in the sky in broad daylight. I'm assuming that this is probably some sort of a drone. Looks too big to be some sort of a, a hobby toy that somebody might be outside playing with, um, but it doesn't look big enough to be an airplane. I don't think it was making any noise. I'm definitely not a bird. Don't know. It's not a helicopter. I don't think. I mean, just super bright white. Again, this is in Albany, Indiana in broad daylight. And this is from about three weeks ago. This was back in uh, October of 2020. Saw a lot of things in the sky in October of 2020. A lot of white orbs. And then this thing here too, which looks more tubular. Doesn't look to be round. Kind of looks tubular. That's why I was kind of maybe leaning towards a, a possible drone. I don't know, guys. It's another one of those videos that, you know, it's just too good not to share. It was a really good observation of something mysterious in the in this instance, the daytime sky. A lot of times we get videos of, of lights and various things in, in the nighttime sky. This just happened to be at broad daylight, but it was just far enough away to, to where you couldn't get a, a real crystal clear idea of what exactly it was. Here it is, zoomed in really, really close, and I put it in slow motion, um, but again, you know, it's, it's kind of pixelated. You can't get any real definition of, of exactly what it is. It almost kind of looks like maybe it's rolling. I don't know, it's, it's, it's really difficult to analyze. Difficult to analyze, but great observation coming out of Albany, Indiana. If you guys have any photos or videos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website, and sometimes I'll use them in a video slideshow just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.